It's hard to imagine how emperor penguins project such an aura of calm and dignity with everything that's going on around them. The birds were recently listed as endangered by U.S. fish and wildlife. And now, new data suggests a marine heat event could further destabilize Antarctica's massive ice shelves and the penguin habitat. One over there on the hill. Enter a team from San Jose State who recently returned to Cape Crozier to monitor the penguins with an array of tracking devices. They described the multiple threats to the penguins in an interview provided by the university. Some of the ice that they breed on is disappearing. So that's probably going to be one of their first challenges is as the sea ice becomes more unreliable, um, if the sea ice breaks out too soon, there can be complete reproductive failure. The tracking is a close to the ice endeavor that will help verify data gathered by satellites which have been methodically scanning the continent. Ryan Pavlik is with NASA JPL in Pasadena. He says the agency has been collaborating on a long-term observation project popularly known as the Internet of Animals. Which is this idea of tracking the animals, uh, relaying their movements through a satellite back down to Earth and, and understanding how they're moving. But actually here at JPL and within NASA, we're, we're looking at not just the, the animals but also their habitat using a whole host of satellites. A German team is now preparing to launch a new set of instruments into space early next year, collecting data now critical for tracking changes in global habitats like Antarctica. If we notice that animals are going to one place that they didn't go to before or they've stopped going to a place that they had been to in the past, that is an indication that something has changed there. Meanwhile, back on Cape Crozier, the researchers from San Jose State continue gathering data from tracking devices to gauge the health of the penguin populations and their breeding patterns. So from this study, it's not that we're learning so much about climate change. We're learning more about how climate change is going to impact the penguins. So right now, we're just collecting some of the baseline data. Um, where are they going? What are they eating? And then we can use modeling to predict kind of how they will respond. And perhaps tracking changes in one of the world's most unique species and their icy habitat. Spencer Christian, ABC7 News.